Paige definitely has some hormone things going on this morning. I do think maybe today she's over here headbutting everything and everyone. I mean, just throwing an absolute fit this morning. Uh, I have already checked her. We were actually dumping some trash, not dumping trash, but loading trash up to be taken to the dump this morning. We don't have trash service here yet. We haven't um, started it because we have trash service at the other house. So we take some things there and we just take some things to the dump. So these little cute kids get to be let out today. So I'm gonna get everybody fed this morning. I'm gonna check on Twiz again. And then we are going to let Poppy and her babies out. But I can tell you she's been peeing every couple of seconds. So I know that something's going on. I need to get everybody out so that she'll calm down. So we're gonna feed everybody really quick. I may kick everybody out but her and Poppy and the little babies to the big pasture today for at least for a little while so that she'll quit doing like this has been going on all morning it's like 8 30 and I've been up since 6 30 7 o'clock watching her on the camera and since it's been light outside there's a lot going on so this tells me probably today because we're just having all these hormone surges but she needs to calm down and quit this silliness let's get going this happen like I have never this has never been like this hormonal during pregnancy and like this I need to attack everybody I don't know what the deal is and she's never quite been so skittish about like me touching her just been a very strange pregnancy overall for her I don't know that she has triplets she did have triplets her second kidding with pixie she had two stillborn pixie was the only one that survived out of those triplets and that was really back before I was any good at this. She didn't act like this, but there was also only one other goat that lived with her and that was Daisy, so I don't know. It's not like anybody's hungry. They all want to murder each other today. Hello, good morning. As it's gonna be 80 degrees today. Oh, here we go. sharing those acorns good morning fellas good morning pork chop we gotta quit walking off with your bowl buddy Twiz banging in there. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous goat. Waffles would rather eat Toonie's food than share with Link, which I think is silly, but whatever. Whatever, goats. I did want to clarify something with you guys. We live in Arkansas. A lot of you guys are always asking us about blue cactus and Danelle over at Freedom and Reap. They live in Arizona. And I know that like sometimes that's confusing because Arkansas's abbreviation is AR and Arizona is AZ. It is really far from Arkansas to Arizona, guys. And I don't know if it's that people think we're all in Arizona or it's just that we're all 
really the three big female goat channels. Not big, they're the two big channels. I am small beans. We are not close to them. And a lot of you guys are asking like, are we gonna get goats from them? I don't have any plans to do that. That would be an adventure and a half. Uh, they would definitely have to ship the goats to us. I'm not looking to expand my herd at this point. I'm really happy with the girls that I have. And I have two bucks. We're kind of full. Uh, I love their channels. I think they're awesome people, but I don't know them. And Crystal does some amazing things because she has so many goats and she does show goat. That's a totally different thing than what we do. So she has different priorities which is great. She's such a fabulous job with her animals. But you guys ask that a lot. For some context, it's about 11 hours to Santa Fe, New Mexico from here. And so Arizona is like probably another three or four hours on the other side of New Mexico. I have never been to Arizona or New Mexico. Been as far west as Texas and Oklahoma. That's about it. Fun fact of the day. Hello, pretty. This is just crazy. So we really need to get everybody outside this morning to calm her down, but I need breakfast to be done. Pepper totally dumped the camera over. I got everybody but these three out and I need all of these guys to go out too. So we're gonna try to walk them out. Okay, so this is my hope that that will settle her down a little bit. I'm gonna let her out. I'm gonna fill up water really quick. Take it out to these guys so that they have some water that I'll have to fill up three or four times. I'm not gonna leave them out there all day. I just need everybody to kind of calm down for a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is clean out Poppy's stall, take them some water. We may let her out while I'm doing that just to kind of see if she will calm down a little bit because I don't really know what else to do at this point. She's so wound up. But I also don't want her to come over here and attack Poppy and her babies. She's not interested in eating, but I don't know what all this huffing and puffing is that she's got going. It's hot. Finally decided to eat some breakfast. It's about 20 till one. Everybody has finally gone outside and started grazing, which is great. I'm gonna walk out there with them, but we gotta come check on, check on Twiz and Poppy. I've been out here a couple of times. I had decided to kind of let her back out, but she can't behave herself. She's just been really rowdy. I don't even know that she's gonna have babies today. It's just, I don't want her to keep being so aggressive if she is close to being in labor it's really hard like i said it's really hard to tell with her and she's real worked up still she totally freaks out when i try to do a tail check so it's really frustrating i don't th i think she's lost her ligament it's just real like she's just very very agitated and wound up and i have no idea so she just gets to stay here because she is being awful to everyone else today i let her out let her go out in the pasture. She immediately just went crazy and started headbutting people, which was not the goal. So for now, I think she's just gonna stay here. She may have to just stay here for a couple of days and it's fine, she has plenty to eat. It took a lot of effort to get her back in here. She's been really calm as long as I'm not out here. And Jeremy just rolled in with our spools and our mower. I'm gonna go help him.
Jeremy brought me the spools from the other place. And I just rolled them out. Everybody obviously is in here right now and not really interested in going out and play because it's very hot. And Jeremy brought the mower over and is mowing. So maybe this evening when it's not so hot and they all go back outside, we'll get the babies a go on the spools. The spools are pretty tall. They may not be quite big enough to jump on them yet. Last year, Tink loved them. Tink and Poppy and Padme would jump on them, but the babies didn't really jump on them that much. They jumped on the slide. The slide's broken and in rough shape, so we decided to throw it away and not bring it over here. Hopefully everybody will enjoy the spools. They're probably not gonna go out now because there's... The neighbor is mowing and Jeremy is mowing. It's just a lot of noise. So watching this girl. Be mad that she's in here. Hi. Hi, Tweety. Uh, and Poppy apparently is going to be a very loud mom because all she's done all day is yell and scream. This may video may be just the angry hormonal goat. Poor Cece. It's constant. These guys aren't even hers. Uh, I don't even know where Toot Toot is. Toot Toot, are you even in there? Oh, she's back on the back side. I'm sorry, TT. Okay, we gotta be fast. We have 20 minutes for halftime. Uh, look who has landed himself in the garage. Come on, buddy. It was hailing like crazy a minute ago. We have a little bit of the remnants left. You can see, this is hail. See it all over the deck. It was crazy. I mean, it was, oh no. His back window's open. I bet the inside of his truck is soaked. All right, girly friends. Did it start raining again? Obviously no babies, but she's definitely loosened up this evening. So maybe tomorrow. All right, let's have dinner. started putting out these two bowls in addition to the three hanging feeders. I picked them back up when we're done with dinner, but it has worked out to kind of give some extra spots for people to eat, for the ghosts to eat, because they've gotten to where like Daisy and Zelda are so territorial. The solution to that would be to lock these three up in a stall and make them share. Zelda and Daisy won't share, they just headbutt the whole time. This kind of works out. When I'm using the tartar feeders, it doesn't seem to matter. Since we're not doing hay, I'm not dragging them in and out right now because it doesn't hurt them to get wet. So they're just staying outside. The babies are enjoying hump on pop. We will lock Poppy up with her littles tonight. She's enjoyed being out today. This is ridiculous and this baby surfing on Toffee kills me. She's so good at it. I don't know that we've ever had a baby go this like good at balancing. We did bring the spools over today, but they're too tall for the babies. I think we're gonna flip one on the side so that they'll be able to jump on them a little bit. We got these two over here. Poppy's taking good care of them. She's been coming back and forth all day to take care of them. Oh, did you hurt his leg? Oh no. It's okay. Did you hurt your leg? She's had some dinner. We'll lock him in. And I'm gonna go feed everyone else really quick, but it is, I think it's raining too much to take the camera. I'll go do that real quick. Okay, so she's got some extra dinner and water, but everybody looks good. His leg was not hurt. It's very warm in here. I'm gonna give them a little bit of straw because it is gonna cool down tonight. So I'm gonna put a little straw in this corner in case the babies wanna kinda of bed down in it. I do not think she's gonna have kids overnight. She could totally surprise me. I'm gonna come out after the game and I'll lock her up. I think everybody's doing great. I'm gonna call it a day. Yay. 